So what's up guys? Uh, pretty good week, I'll say. Pretty good couple of weeks, I'll say. So the SPY, here's what we're dealing with the SPY. And uh, 327 is gonna be a focal point for tomorrow, 327 and all the way down to 323. That'll be like the first uh, um, areas that I'll, I'll be looking for. Uh, Kyle mentioned the 320, which is down here at the 50 moving average, right? But in order to get to 320, we still need to break 323, which I think may offer some sort of support right here. So keep in mind that 323, I'm gonna put a, an alert right there. Uh, we've been working all day hard, so I haven't had a chance to put any alarms yet. So that's gonna be one, 323. And my main watch for tomorrow is gonna to be 327 right here, right? Let's go and Got see it. the 15. And let's see, we can all agree why 327 is gonna be important for me. Right, what I have right here, it's uh, BWAP right here. So that was basically an area that, that we held today. Plus we have this move, right? They trapped some people in here. I know some of the guys were trying to go long Apple, and we'll talk about Apple in a bit, because I have that discussion with Kyle, and uh, there was a major level that wasn't broken. So that was it. And then I, I think it was a Fed or something like that. So we ended up closing at lows. So if we go to our, uh, I'm gonna do it with my platform right here. Sometimes I'm, uh, let's see. So this is what we're dealing right here. That's why I like the 327, right? So remember, that case is not gonna be exactly 327. I'm gonna see how we react to that, to that space, because it was, it was not support, it was not, uh, can you see my, um, hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. So we didn't hold, I mean, we just went, back and forth, over and under. So I'm gonna be talking to, I mean, I'm thinking on an area right here. This is what I wanna see. 327, 328, and then all the way down to the 323 that we put it, which is down here, right? That's that's where we're gonna be. So I'm not gonna be really long the market until we either go over 328.50 or we go in here and hold, okay? So that is all based on how every single one of us trades. So, but that's the way I like to trade. So I want to see something like this prior to going long, right? Otherwise, I'm going to be more inclined to see what happens if we retest 327 or how this area is going to, it's going to act. That's going to be for a shorter term. And we're talking about SPY. I know a lot of the guys don't, doesn't, you know, don't trade SPY. I don't usually trade the SPY, but I go to the market stocks. So you heard me talking about the market stocks that we usually go, like we did some Microsoft a couple of days ago. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, 323, 326. If I'm not mistaken, we'll see the chart in a bit. So those are the type of trades that I'll be looking for. I mean, if I wanna trade the, the, um, the chart, well, the market, what I'll do is I get, I get one of the stocks that moves with the market. Those are the beta, high beta stocks and just, just do that one, right? Okay. So let's go back and that's, that's the main plan for the, for the SPY. This is what I'm looking at, right? It's pretty clear. We, it looks like, looks like we may put a lower high, but this doesn't become a pivot until we go and put another two right here, right? So. Think about this, if you, you're gonna be, I mean, if we think about shorting right here, we're anticipating the move, the real thing will be the 320, and that's when we can say that probably the market's gonna be in trouble. For now, we just we just trade whatever whatever the, the chart is showing us, okay? Got it. Being said that, let's go to Apple. Stock of the day, everybody was looking at that. Needless to say, that's the biggest uptrend monthly, weekly. We have no clear lines to work with. So let's go to the daily. That's what we have today. There's a doji, wow. right? 
that's what happens. So I keep hearing all over, awesome quarter, blow up, nobody can believe what they're doing, whatever, you know, whatever's going on. Guys, you got to pay attention to this thing when you're trading. Please, 327. You see it right there? 327.9, right? So let's see what happens. Oh my God, I just click on the wrong one. How do I go back? Hold on a second, bear with me. Uh, uh huh. There you go. So this is what I want to show. So we got the three three twenty seven, right? And that's yeah. Really, I couldn't break it all day. It couldn't. It couldn't. Right. So we have this good move. I mean, you can argue it's a good move. For me, it's not a good move. We got this move. For some of you, I, I know most of you don't do a lot of gaps. I do a lot of gaps. That's that's what I used to train my stuff back in the day. You know, we do we do a lot of gaps. So yeah, we have this and then we have this. So, so if you look at that, it's basically, I mean, it's not really a very strong pattern. So what I want to see in this case is this stock. When we open, it should blast off. Meaning these guys are all in the money, right? What happened today? right there people were selling into 328 so we have a big pullback back into 321 which happens to be exactly the same level pre-market level so we go from pre-market level to pre-market level that's a textbook i wasn't looking at that and then uh, guess what we do another run which is pre-market level to pre-market level right and then it's just whatever let's see what the what the stock can do Here's when news came. Uh, I heard some people trying to go long. We advised them. I think it was it was you, Kyle. You said, please, guys, be careful because we haven't been able to clear 328. Right. So hopefully, they didn't take it, and that's where we close. So this is where we are right now. What am I, what am I going to be looking tomorrow? I said today that I wanted to see uh, Apple hold 325, 323. So basically, I wanted to see where we close regarding this sideways move that we had yesterday, right? Because my thinking is if we start losing 323, then 321 is like right there. Remember guys, I keep repeating myself about this. It's $300 stock. So I hear guys posting like, oh, it's, what was, what was the word? Apple is blasting off? <laughs> Oh, he's rallying, right? So I come back and I'm like, oh my God, they finally broke this, the, the level, right? The, you know, the rally that he was talking about, 326 to 328. I mean, that's, that's a blip, right? Look at the ATR, 601, 647. So we stayed in there. We didn't, we, we did, there wasn't even expansion today as far as ATR, right? The move was contained right on the ATR. So for tomorrow, if we had six points, it's, 329 so we could we should be around here or if we go lower then we're talking 323 minus six that put us where my god my math 317 okay so needless to say put an alarm at 323 put another one at 322 which is prior day low right and then we start filling the gap that way we should be 318 okay so I think we got levels for Apple for tomorrow. If you want to play momentum, play it over 328. Make sure that we make new highs. If not, start looking at 323 and 322 for support. And if we break uh, under 321, which is the prior day low, we can be thinking of probably a gap close, right? Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So basically just watch prior day range. Yeah. We have a clear breaks. range. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, it, this is the beauty about this. Like everybody that knows how to read a chart, not even that, that, that can make lines can probably pinpoint the areas, right? It's no right. magic here. It's no magic here, right? That's what it is. So what I consider these tails right here, this is just noise. I don't want to trade that noise. It's just two points in Apple. I don't want to get involved in that. But call me when we break 328. I'll be happy. Let me know if we go 322. And especially if we go 321, I'll be happy. So that will be my trade in Apple. 
Okay, no bias, because I don't know the future. So I'm just gonna let it tell me what is it they wanna do with Apple. Okay, so Apple out of the way, and we're talking about SQ. Why not? Yeah. Let's do SQ. SQ was an awesome call uh, of the daily, I assume, right? Correct. So basically what we're dealing here is, uh, this was the chart that we were trading. Um, we, we have the 72 as the momentum entry, right? But I think the main area where you caught it, right? It was 69, something like that. Yeah, I was through there and it was, it was actually last week, Friday, it couldn't break over on the very left of your screen. It couldn't break the high of that. You're talking um, about this, 69.70? No, no, on the very left. Yeah, I couldn't break that up okay, there. Okay, 70.76. So you see some people right here, right? I look yeah. a lot for pivots, especially for confirmation. I'm giving you this. So basically this is bearish move. You want it to be clear. So it was an awesome call, right? This day, I wasn't in the trade. The next day, I couldn't get it right here. Props to the guys that were having this one. Amazing move. I, I got the pullback. And today was easy too, because we just have a minor pullback. Right. And last off. So what do we do? Which is because, you know, that, that's a little, I mean, that's helpful as far as, so you know what we did and why we did it. But I think what we need to check is what are we going to do with this one? So I'll go to the weekly chart. And as I go talk about this, I want to I wanna be discussing what some of the guys were talking about. They wanted to know a little bit more about volume profile. Okay. Again, you see the yellow to yellow. That means 70% of all the move that you see in this chart happened between 7840 and 5327. So basically what we're approaching is we're still inside the range, right? So this will get really interesting if we go 78.65. I know we have a target one of 80.82 because we have this right. um, bearish formation right here, right? It's very clear because of this move right here. I don't know if that's uh, probably earning something, but um, so I won't be chasing it. I really need a really good entry, high risk, I mean, high, uh, low risk, big reward entry. Sure. And if we wanna see it, we can see it right here on the 15 minute chart. This is what you wanna be doing. This, this is the kind of entries you want or based on how you trade basically, right? Cause we all trade different. So you can do a momentum trade, you can do a pullback trade, you can do a breakout play. Uh, you could be uh, even another breakout that that one failed. You can do, I don't know, you can do short. Right. You know, like you can do another long right here. That's uh, another formation. You can do another pullback right here. We did it yesterday. This one was amazing. This one was amazing too. Today was just blast off and then it did nothing. I know some of the guys pick it up on the pullback. Um, the main idea is I wasn't expecting, that's why I didn't even bother getting it. I know they make 15, 20%, 25% probably, but I didn't want to be nursing this position into the FOMC meeting, right? And, uh, the odds that we were going to overcome this red bar right here were really low. We haven't seen a red bar that big over the last two days. You see the movement right here was clean. You see the movement right here was clean up until here. And then we have this big one. I was like, no, not, today's not the day. So guess what? This is what's going on, right? We know why, because it's PayPal, but we got to pay attention. So we have a level right here, which is back to 74, right? And then 77. I'll play momentum to the upside 77. I'm not sure if I want to be sure the name under 74, and I won't be that aggressive buying it. I did it today at 74. That's what I bought it, like 74, 20 something. Tomorrow, I don't want to. I, I I don't think I'll be I'll be inclined to do that because of the move pre market. Okay. I think the easy money in this one's gone. Exactly. For now. Exactly. So yes, I did buy here. Yes, we did buy here the tail. Tomorrow, it's going to be different because basically this movement right here, and we have the news from PayPal. So play at your own risk and make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. So for this one, just put an, uh, put an alarm at 77 and 75. 
and I'll be looking just to go with the with the weekly chart again. In case you didn't get it, I wanna be I wanna be having a alarm at 80 probably, and then really interesting at 84. Otherwise, yes. Uh, I don't know where to buy it to be honest. 74, 74 has got to prove itself, basically, but I don't see an entry right here. So we don't with Q, SQ. So we got to watch the 74 and the PayPal uh, conference call. You want to see PayPal now? Let's do PayPal. So PayPal, um, I like the formation on the monthly, uh, very bullish, a little late, right? Uh, we need the break of 122, which I was expecting today with the news, but the news apparently are not that good. So we're going to see what's going on right here. And pretty fast. Uh, that's not a clear chart for me, right? Um, it's not my, it, it won't be my go to tomorrow, to be quite honest, because I want to see something directional, like really, really clean. This is not clean for me. So anything can happen. I'll put on around about 115 if you really want to trade this one. Probably so so we can trade SQ if you want to trade SQ. Your your tail will be probably PayPal, but that's not that's not something that I will be wasting my time with tomorrow. Okay? Got it. So longer term, uh if we can make new highs 122 or if we can pull back let's see if the daily is going to give us something it's just i don't like the chart yeah it's messy it's messy look at the tail so yes it closed higher but look at the look you have to i don't know look look at tails 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 that's buying i get it that's buying but then look how it goes up right it doesn't go up with green bars Oh, like gaps up and then sells. Yeah, it got up sells. It got up sells. It got up sells. So it's just, it's just all overnight action. Basically, basically, if you counting here, and you'll be like, yeah, it's going up. Yeah, but it's all red bars. So can, how can that happen? Well, they just gap it up and drop it the whole day, and you're trying to buy the pullback or, or buy momentum, and you're trapped, basically. So I don't like it. Sorry, guys, this one doesn't go into my list. <laughs> okay. Um, Roku. Uh, what was that? Roku. Oh, Roku. 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 Roku is really interesting, and we posted this one uh, for you guys, and we even posted on social media because I think it's pretty interesting what's going on in Roku. Check this out. So we got 176, whatever. We came down, then we started bottoming. We did this call to 100, and then we went all the way to 150. Then for some reason, it went back. So. This is what caught my attention uh, because it's just like, so we got 170, we got, call it 150, okay. So we make in lower high right here and then we make a pivot right here, 150, right? Make this drop to 127, I think. I think is uh, that level is like 127. So we go back, we go 150 again, right? We go down 127. We go down, this is 145, if I'm not mistaken, right? We go down 127. We go back, this is 140. We go back, finally, we try to break, right? We don't expect this, and I know I, I didn't take the trade, I wasn't trading this one short, and I think I said that day, I'm not, I'm not buying the breakdown. Reason is, we tested the level like four times, right? And what are the odds that on a day where you're falling one, two, three, four days in a row, that's the day that is gonna really actually break, right? When we don't have the volume confirmation right here. So I saw it like as a trap basically, right? And uh, now this is this alike. Because basically, if we if you're counting this 150, 145, 140, 135, I think it was in here, right? And today we we, we didn't even make it. So we're looking at 135. Tomorrow could be really interesting, guys. I don't know if you see the downtrending pattern that I'm seeing. 
Uh, but this is getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Right? So right. this is like a prime candidate for tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Let's let's go to the short side now. Let's go to the shorter time frame. I'm sorry. And uh, I don't need to do that. I keep forgetting. This is the this is the hourly chart, and we can see it here even even better. Right? The um, look at this. Look at this trap right here. Look at this. They just do it every single time, right? Every single time. 144, 145, then they drop it in the afternoon. They they grab the people right here. This is the open, by the way. This is the open. 137, drop. Here's this is the open. 141. Boom. Drop it. Right here. 136. Drop it. Right? Today we did it again. 132, drop it. Okay? So I'm looking for. 128, 127, trying to position myself into this little wedge, ideally, so that I can get some momentum into 127. Now, if we short 128 and we come into 124, now we're talking four points. We got something, right? So that's that's a trade I wanna be I wanna be looking for tomorrow. Okay. And then even shorter time frame, and that will do it for that. So actually we're pretty good. Look, we almost gonna probably open right at lows. So this could be a momentum trade for tomorrow, right there, right? You wanna be on the safe side, 128, then we have the 127, and this is the level that we, we, we've been looking for, the 126. I know it, it broke, but now you, you know why I didn't take it, right? So this was it, and then it's quite normal. I wasn't expecting it to be a clear cut, you know, because of the pattern. Sometimes you you gotta you gotta know when to shorter, when when's a high odds pattern. So it was not. And then you go to the the bigger time frame. All we have is um, same pattern right here, and anything can happen. I'm not predicting anything, you know, but I think the higher odds is that we can make eight, eight points from here if we're lucky. 128, 120 with a market that is weak, easily we can do that, right? Okay. okay. So for Roku, that's that's the idea. When do you get uh, bullish? If you really love this, the stock and everything, whenever you break the trend, whatever is it the trend that you trade, right? If you're trading on the 30 minute, then whenever you break this this downtrend, so 133, you start buying. Right. Uh, you gotta okay. know that you're against the longer term, longer term, longer term time frame. So Roku, main for tomorrow, short. Unless we go 133. Okay, looking to short. So we got the Roku, we got Facebook reported. So let's see Facebook. Um, same pattern as all the other ones. That's our weekly. So this is very bullish. I think we have we have it on the game plan. I think it was yesterday that I was looking at uh, a break over one uh, over 223, right? It looked like it was going to happen today, but once again, like we failed. We couldn't make new highs, and the problem is that after hours, total annihilation. What is that? 10%. 20 points. 225. Yeah, that's 10% down. So knowing that we are 207, let's go see how is that going to change our daily chart. Interesting. Uh, for those of you that don't believe in technical analysis, just kidding. But um, <laughs> <laughs> this is where we go. This is where we're testing. Right. 207. So of course, 207.35, that's, that's the main level to watch tomorrow for Facebook, okay? Got it. Pretty simple. If we hold, we hold. If we don't, we don't, right? The simpler the, the, simpler the game plan, the easier it is to execute, and we have plenty of room 
both sides, right? Because we, we're talking about a 10% drop. So 207, we're talking right here. So we have nothing as far as big volume, 202, 200. 200, okay. Yeah. So it could be it could be nasty. It could be nasty. If we if we if this one gets momentum, it could be nasty. Okay. So just play momentum, pure momentum in Facebook. Either side, right? Um to the upside, I'll say two ten is target one, two ten, two eleven. Pretty pretty clear. Anybody can see that one, so not even gonna discuss it. So, uh, Facebook. What else we have? Uh, we talk Nvidia. About Nvidia. Nvidia. I was looking at a breakout today too. We're still working with the 255, and I, this is this is the discussion that we have today. Uh, somebody asked about the, what, the alligator. Alligator. So this is the alligator mouse, guys. Right, this is the alligator mouse. Right. Okay. So this one has been there forever. I think 245 is a must watch, right? Need to clear 255. That's that's what I was looking for. We're still there. 250, 255. I think we get, we went over there. The problem is that now we're 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 coming back. Now, here will be the really interesting thing if we break the 230 level right now we're out of the teeth to put it that way <laughs> so are we gonna come and test the lower part i don't think so but we can see we can see a pullback we have no support whatsoever you know the volume done into this move was substantially lower than what we have here. What we have here is a wall. My favorite play, it's of course, and that's what I was looking for, the break, because we can see 250 to 275, which is 25 points, which is 10%, right? That one with momentum. Now to the downside, you can short 230. I don't know if you guys remember the day that we were discussing Tesla, but I say, yeah, you can always short it because you can make one, two points to the downside, but you always have these guys right here. We don't know who's the real buyer, right? Even though I don't have that much volume to the left, right? Because of this big drop, that's why we don't have that much volume. And then we just run. So it's been like very directional run, run, no pauses. So I don't know where it's gonna stop. 220, 210, 200, I don't know, right? So it's gonna be like a, to the upside, I'm clear, okay? So 255, 260, up. To the short, be careful, we can trade it, absolutely. But it's not my, it wouldn't be my go-to stock, okay? Now, let's see if the daily shows something different, because this is, this is why we do the multiple time from analysis, right? So we have the break, it gapped up and failed, which I really dislike. If you have, heard and read about that read about the 52 week 50 what is it called the 52 week highs trap or something like that so this is a famous pattern right when we put 52 week highs and then fail that's like massive distribution and you know there's a lot of things going on right there just google it and see what happens when when that happens so we can see 230 which is what we're talking about here right that'll be target one to the lower side so if you want to play this okay for me it's basically like a no touch for probably a good good week it's gonna be so let's find stuff that we can work with uh cgc right um we have another alligator right here right and uh And guess where we are? Right here. So we try to break. Now we have the 26 pullback. Drop a little bit too much, but I think this was because of the news. Uh, we'll, we'll check it. We'll check it because this is a weekly chart. Okay. So now we need to see how we recover. If we go over 26, 
we go and we start 26, 28, taking profits, taking profits, taking profits, and probably ideally is going to be an, do an NVIDIA with us inside. Okay? That'll be our, our good trade right there. So let's go to the uh, weekly, ch daily chart, sorry. So here's the daily chart, and that was it. That's that's the point. Next day we recovered, which is yesterday with the market, and today we're coming right here. So we can always we can always do some chart work right here, and we can do that. So we're about to break that downtrend right here. It all depends on how aggressive we we can be. But this is actually this could be a good momentum stock, you know, because of the price, because we're talking twenty four dollars, and we have a clear target into the twenty six at least. Right? Meaning right. if we get okay. it on a day that is gonna break, twenty-six is gonna be that's what I have a green a green um a green line. I don't know if I explained to you guys that I decided to put the green line meaning yeah, last week in the yeah weeks ago. meaning in the long term, that's not that's not that's not resistance for me. I'm looking for it to break. So actually my target will be like thirty bucks. Okay. So that's something new new that I started using. Uh, this is where we are. So we can be looking at 24, 24. This is, uh, again. Um, we should be looking at something, probably this, 2350 could be. You know, we can even look at 23. And then alarm for sure at 24.5. You can see my alarm right there. That's, that's where my alarm is, right? Because I'm thinking on, I, I really want to make sure that this breaks. So my alarm is like uh, 2470, and then I'll probably be starting to call it like over 25. And then okay. I'll take it to 26, ideally, and then 29, right? But it's clear, it's clear I mean, it, I think it's clear what I'm, what I'm trying to do here, right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So 24.5, 26 on C, on C. Up to 30. Up to 30, yeah. But the, the scalp trade, will be 24.5 to 26, okay? And then if we break 26, well, intraday to swing trade to 30, okay? So that's CGC, I like it, I like it. I'm not sure if it's gonna trigger tomorrow, probably it won't trigger, you know? We never know, so that's what we, right. use, that's what we use the alarms. So don't just, coming to the day and, and start looking at this one like that's the only trade, <laughs> you're gonna have to, you gotta get bored. So I'm just putting alarms right here so that I know at all times what, it, what, is, it, what is it that these two want. So that's uh, CJC, CGC, and AMD. AMD. Well, we posted today, we said we gotta watch it 48. It's very important for it to hold 48. And this is a stock that everybody, you know. Wow, look at that monthly candle. We're talking about valuation and everything. Look at that. So we have a great trade of 36 all the way to 52. And now it's looking bad. Um, now look at the weekly. That's the way it's, it's looking to close. And today we go into... Um, now, he, here's where we can get confused. People will say, oh, it was just a bad earnings report. Well, the report was good, right? That, that's what I heard. AMD actually... It was a moderate beat. Well, it, it was a beat, right? And right. we're talking about today. Like, everybody's beating, so take it with a grain of salt, right? Because we tend to believe when, when we're long a stock and, oh, my God, everybody's beating, is awesome. But when we short it, you know, and, and, and so we, we, we fix it to our side, whatever it is, right? So it was a moderate bait, but guess what the chart is telling us? The chart told us three days ago, this is a, this is a bearish engulfing pattern, right? Another one, what was the other one that made 52-week highs and now is dropping? We just saw it. NVIDIA. 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 So now we got NVIDIA, AMD doing exactly the same. Now, uh, we posted 48. 48 is the key level. Whatever we want to do, we're going to be trading 48 tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's set up paid today. Yeah. So 
the 48 is right here. We know how to trade this. If you do the H pattern, if you do whatever pattern, so this is how you trade it. That, that's that, for me. That's that's pretty simple, right? right. Uh, okay. Right. So here's the 48. We we're right there. So I'm gonna probably put a, an alarm at 47, 47.50, and I don't remember how high the volume was pre-market, but I think it was it was important volume. So I think this is going to be an area that we need to clear, right? So if you're thinking on going long, exactly. If you're thinking on going long, it's going to be a tough, really tough uh, area to, to clear, right? So I probably won't mess with that one until we really break 49 or if we have a really strong day, right? Like the market's running and now AMD is the best stock in the index, I'll probably do it. If not, 48 is my line in the sand, and I'll be looking to go short, 47, okay. 20, and 46, of course, right? So on the 46, well. on the 47. So AMD, I'm, I'm bullish, I'm sorry, I'm bearish, because of the longer, longer term chart. Yeah, the monthly has a huge wick. Monthly is horrible, weekly is looking bad, and the daily, and the problem is that we're still far from, this is the 50 MA, right? And look at what, right. the, what the 200 is. Ooh. It's far. I mean, it's, this thing can go 42, and we're still, you know, no big deal, like nothing. And it's not that far. I mean, 56 to, it dropped six points in, in three or four days, basically, right? So... Just keep it in mind, but this is a good one. This is a good, you know, I hate trading this stock, right? So let's look at the other one I, I, I dislike. I don't like it that much, but look at MU and let's see if it looks like AMD and like Nvidia. You see it right there? Double top. The difference is this one's not running. This one's even worse because we couldn't even make new highs, right? And now, semiconductors or whatever it is that they make are not that hot. So let's go to the weekly chart and let's see. We try to get out of the zone in here. We needed to clear 60, right? We had we a had couple weeks actually, a couple days. No, a couple weeks because this is one, two, three weeks. We were looking at 58, 50, 58, 50, got to work. Finally, it broke and look what it did. <laughs> You remember the 5850, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody was talking 5850. Not until we break 5850. We broke 5850 and it was all a trap. Right? All a trap and now this is this is what we're looking at. So, no good on MU. Let's see if we can get a short and this is the setup, right? This that was the 5850 right there, 5850, couple days negated totally. Again, look at how it went up. It made new highs on red bars. right right so, that's that same 52 week high trap trap exactly i mean i'm looking at that of course if you watch the 60 60 60 56 the breakout i hope you already sold it because this doesn't <laughs> look good to me right i'm looking at 55 54 70 for mu okay and we know how to play it. We can go 53, 52, 50 on that one, right? Um, this one cannot be there. That should be 60, 50 now. Because I'm not going to mess with that one until you can prove that it's really, it's really strong, right? And there you go. So I'm bearish on, on the MU. Look at the look at the look at the look at the move that we have right here. So we clear. Um, I usually go with the with the trend of the you know the hourly trend. So for me, it's pretty clear. Look what we're doing, and this is the 55. You know, take into account this little tail right here. So that goes give us a little bit of trouble. But I think we, we if we have a bad market or if we have a market to start pulling back a couple of days or something. This could be something, 55, 54, 53. Okay. And it's usually a, a, an easy trade, MU. Once you start trading, right? Once you start like going directional. Right. It could be an easy trade. 
um, daily. I'm sorry, the 15 minutes, and this is what we're talking about, right? We have the discussion yesterday too, I think. Relative strength, this is not relative strength. It's just a stock that has been going down. For some reason, they just bought it for 15 minutes, and then they trap everybody here, and boom, okay? So we gotta be careful with that concept in here. This is what we wanna be trading that day. This is the day we wanna be trading it. Not here, not here, it's too hard. Probably here, if you know how to do this. This is an excellent setup too, okay? So, Netflix. MU, Netflix. What's with Netflix? Let me see. I had a, remember guys, last time we have, we, we, were, we were looking at a, at a range in Netflix and we have an awesome trade right there. 334 to 344 was the, was the range that we have, right? 334 to 344. My notes say for Netflix from last time, 344, watch for a potential breakout to 350. Yes. So we got a 344 and we went actually past the 352, 357. This is important, guys. Um, this is one of the few times where I really pay attention to volume profile. I'm going to say that again, bold. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> This is one of the few times when I pay attention to market profile, right? Why would I pay attention to market profile here? I'm gonna explain that to you pretty easy. We have a big move up, whatever, right? Big move down. And I have this level right here that we've been working. We talk about this. I said, this is buyers. Look at what happened last time that we went there, right? And we're right. gonna test the highs right we said this is going to happen look, look look how it trades forget about this this is an excess i don't care about that this is an excess too i don't care about that this is a mile excess i don't care about that but this is a divergence right so here's what happened if you're long and you have this big volume right here and you have that 70 percent of the trades are at 369 and you're at 360 are you going to try to get the last squeeze out of this talk? <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of people are going to be taking profits right here, right? If you, don't, if you don't believe me, just look what they did the last time that you got there, right? It's going to happen. I mean, like, so I think we nailed that one. We did a great trade on that one, that day, that particular day yeah. when we have it. We, we, just, we just nail it. So for this one, guess what I'm going to do? I love Netflix over at 363, right? I'm waiting to take a shot over 363 with a stop at 360. And then if I hit 380, I'm risking three cents, $3 to make 360 to 380. I'm, making, I'm risking $3 to make 18. I take that one anytime, right? But I don't want to get caught into the nonsense that is going on right now between 340, 350 again, like 10 cents again, $10 again. I don't want to get into that one. So for Netflix, the big call will be over 363 to 380 as a target one, and then let it run and see if they're going to break uh, Apple TV and Disney Plus. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what's going on. This is the 330, 344, 345, 350. That's, that's the trade right there. In the same day, we have it, right? 334, 344, 350. That was one day. The next day, somebody traded, and this is where we are. So that's what happens, guys. That's why we use the alarms. One day, is going to trigger, and then you just don't even think, and you just go long. By the way, the day trigger, it was a perfect setup right here, right? Yes. It was it was a perfect setup that day. Uh, I don't have it here. Well, okay. So for Netflix, it's it's just um, <coughs> I don't want to short it right there. Can you long? Yeah, you can long, but but we have a red bar. Uh, it just gets too tricky. It's it's noise for me. This is noise, and I know again it's a three hundred fifty dollars stock. And probably if you put a one minute chart. And it, it goes two points or three points, you're gonna think, oh my God, it's rallying and it's going to the moon, right? 
It's just, go, it's just going up up one percent or something, which is good. I don't. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good if you can get a point or the three points. That's fine, right? But know that you're inside a range. That's that's my whole point. That's the point I'm trying to make, right? You're inside a range. There's nothing special. There's nothing special going on right here. There's support right here. There's selling in here. There's selling in here. There's more selling in here. There's buying in here. I mean, I have no edge to play it right there. So play at your own risk. I have no levels. The level is 363 to 380 if we're going long. Okay? So that would be it. Netflix. And uh, so you're not uh, touching that one for now. No, just the alarm. Like like we have the last time. Whoa, 340. Okay, let's go and, and we take the 10 points and that's it or whatever okay. points we make. Gotcha. That's uh, that's interesting. Look at look at the look at the weekly in 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 Bawa. This is an interesting chart. We pull back wow. to 200, and definitely held. Yeah. Which is really good because there's a couple of things that we can we can point pinpoint right here. Mm. One. Look at this formation right there with the tail. So we have a green bar and then the following week they try to sell it and they just bought it again so i think we have some support right there and if you go to the other side of the spectrum we go right here and we got some volume i'll say right until we get this volume right here so i'm looking for clues and what we have is we have no volume right here at the top so we shouldn't have that much resistance over there, I'll say. We don't have a uh, an alligator mouth, right? <laughs> like like in Nvidia. That's what I'm right. trying to say. Like if we start going up again, we're we're free. Look, you see? Right. Gotcha. So so yeah, we lost momentum. There was some bad news in that one. Wow! Look at the 200. What do we have it? That's let me remove those drawings, but well, 200. That was three days ago. That was Monday, actually. We dropped to 200. Beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Look at this. I think I did similar trade in, in what was that in Disney that I say it's been dropping for X many days and they drop it to support right here. The support. So you buy that day. Boom. Counter trend. Now we're here. Anything can happen. So for this one, it's going to be 209.40 play short right for quick quick scalp you can scalp it right and if we continue higher mm, let me go to the 60 minute chart and let's see if we already broke the downtrend uh, i'm not loving it guys it's just the gaps are killing me that's we, a messy one too yeah it's it's messy we can force it and say that we're still like right there, right? So if you're a scalper, you can do 214 to 17, and it's fine. I think it'll work, 214 to 17. Uh, if you want to try to see if we continue going down, I will have to wait until we break probably 210 and then do a scalp to 206 and 200. So could be in play, could be in play. But uh, I think it's, it's, again, this is a scalp, scalp, uh, scalp trace that we can do. So I'm gonna write it down anyways. Baba, 214 to 217.5. Two Baba, 214 to 217.5. Just if we have volume on this one, with volume, please, right? That'll be the only way that I'll go. If we start seeing that Baba is in play, you know, it's got good volume in the day, then we'll probably see, hey, we break into 14, let's try to take it to 217, 217.5. Or on the other hand, if we start losing 211, 210, we can probably, you know, take it to 208 and on a bad day to 206. Bad day meaning a... Uh, down day. That's what I meant to say. Not a bad day. Um, 
to the down. So we got Baba. Uh, this one looks better, which is which is uh, exactly what I was expecting to see. So we got the 214, right? That we just talked about. So look at the 214 from there. That's the 214, and then we have the 210. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That looks way better. That's what we got to do the, the, the chart work, guys, right? Because sometimes we don't see it, and then suddenly we see it. And some people so will, th will probably go like this. <laughs> this one for tomorrow. Yeah. Just watch prior day range. Yeah, prior day range. Exactly. Okay. Thinking that we have, we have a bigger target, right? Because the 214, we have like a moving average. I don't even know what moving average it was that. That's like 217.8, but from the chart yeah here's the 218 220 right so it right. doesn't look that bad and the same to the short the short is 210 short is a little harder it's a little harder because we've been coming from the bottom but i like it yeah probably okay yeah looks good so that's what we have to check all of the charts and uh what else we have all oh, the lrcx Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even say? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. This stock is amazing. Yeah. I just, I just find it so hard to trade it. Sometimes I usually do like spreads. I usually do out of the money, try to hold it for day or two or something like that but like running when it's running intraday i'm like no i mean that, that's not my that's not my cup of tea to be quite honest and it just keeps going it just keeps going what do we analyze in tesla 600 is the prior high. so basically we go back we, we got popping into all new all-time highs all right 100 which is what i was expecting from apple right a big move like huge yeah, like like at least make new 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 all time highs on volume and hold it, right? Yeah. So if you want to scalp it, scalp six sixty, just go crazy. See 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 if it goes to seven hundred. I'll say seven hundred easily. Six sixty to right. seven hundred. I'm not just gonna write it down here for fun. So scalp Momo six sixty to seven hundred plus. Right? <coughs> Because that's uh, what a one percent move is uh, a ten percent move is six sixty six forty so five percent move yeah five percent move will get you to seven hundred should be fun to watch on paper trade <laughs> <laughs> no no because while you while you paper trading this one you miss the you miss the money that you should be making on the other one so just forget that yeah. Yeah, focus on what you can trade and what you what you know how to trade, and that's it. That one leave it to whoever likes to trade. You like to trade this one, so yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's your trade. Six hundred, six sixty, boom. Okay, so Tesla, um, LRCX. Let me get this out of the way before I forget. So somebody asked me about Tesla, about LRCX. It's gonna be a oh, this this a like, this a like, three seventeen. Um, prior high was 316.73. Uh, if they can keep that move, so um, I know we're recording, so he's probably he's probably going to be watching this one. Make sure that you have volume prior to play, prior to trading this one, right? Because uh, when I see this big. Um, when I see this big green candles, I don't like it. That's not what I want to see. I want to see something like Tesla, a big green candle like that, that gets into another big green candle right. that gets into a sideways base. Basically, these guys are holding. They're not flipping it already. You know, the other one, they're already, they're already playing games with it. They haven't even... LRCX, so that's not the, yeah, I won't even put it on my radar, that one. So what else we have, guys? We have Disney. We have Disney, and I know I've been talking about Disney. We have the short call under 145, target 133. 
Was it 133 or 130? I don't remember. So Disney, Disney. So hard to trade Disney. I made yeah, a couple a trades. One. I make a couple trades on that one. We say 148 on the 142.50, we can test the low range of 133. Right. That was last time. So we were talking 148, 143. And the reason being, we saw bullish over 148, right? So we saw the, the, the red candle last time. We saw this one red candle in here. And we had to pay attention. Whenever we see this formation, that's what I keep telling you guys. Like We start seeing this, especially in the weekly charts. And we see in the AMD, I think, MU. Nvidia putting those candles right there. I don't like it, you know, because you can get momentum to the downside. And this is exactly what what happened. What happened. We were trying to short 145, then 142.50. That's the entry right there. And we were thinking 133. And don't call me on this one, but I think we still we we may make it. We 132.92, 94. Let's see how the daily looks. Oh, yeah. And um, it can gain momentum tomorrow. Because of look at the formation today, right. basically just took a breather right here. Yesterday went up because the market went up, so I don't care. Look at this gap fill territory right here, 136. So right. that's the target, okay. 134. Only that's thing is nice that we one. got, yeah, but we got earnings on 2.4. Oh, that's okay. You got the rest of the week to trade this thing. Okay, so yeah. Let's make a game plan for this one. Uh, that's the 60 minute. You want to make sure you don't break 139 if you're thinking bearish. Right. Right. And try to go with the momentum to the downside. Okay. Let's go to the 15. That was a that was a that was a pretty good formation actually today. We missed that one. Yep. Very nice. Oh yeah! Wow. Very nice, clean chart. This is what we're hunting, guys. This is this is the type of trades that we need. Excellent. So we got the 139. Uh, we never broke prior to this high. We just started going down and developing to a downtrend. So let's see if we can continue lower. 135.5, 135. Under 135.5. Under 135, and let's try to take it to 133 at least. We'll see how it goes. So that's Disney that we have it. We did Roku already, right? Yes, we did Roku. That's the other one that they they have been in my short radar like for a long time now. Uh, not easy trades. Starbucks. How are we doing on time? We got an hour. Okay, let's speed it up. Starbucks. Starbucks is so hard to trade. And I think they reported today, but nothing happens. Yeah, it's, it's flat, it's flat. So I think I got saved right here because it never trigger. It triggered probably mm. early in the morning. So right. I, I, I don't usually take it very early in the morning, like this type of setup, I don't take it. So I'm safe. So we back into 86. What is that level? I don't like we it. Look at this. I'll say oh, it goes, ugly. yeah, I say it goes 82, 80 before it goes 100. And then we probably can evaluate what to do with it. But the weekly, uh, again, you can always get it on a good day and trade it from 88 to 90 and it's an awesome trade, but but that'll be a one day wonder basically that, you know, just going to happen once and, and uh, I'm not liking it. If we fail on this double, double bottom formation right here, 8560, but that's not, it's not even giving me a good trade. Cause if I'm where, if I were to short 8550, I'm going to have to risk like a dollar on a Starbucks. I'm not doing that. Right. Yeah. Not the best. Yeah, so Starbucks for me is usually not a good one to go to. Um, I have this one. Not sure how it trades, and I probably missed it because I have it for today. I have 
Doku uh, documentary. I wanted 74.40. Oh my God, it already triggered. Yep, not too late. Okay, let's look at uh, uh, Beyond. BYND. That was upgraded or downgraded today? What happened? I believe that was a downgrade. There was a lot of news out today. Something about the CFO. KFC. They say that they were... <laughs> KFC, yeah, and then a downgrade Fake from, chicken. Right. Uh, they're doing fake chicken. Uh, fake corn. That, that's a problem. Okay, so <laughs> what are we doing with... What are we doing beyond? Beyond... I think you're already wow, top. I think we're already top. We call it 122. It went a little bit higher. Good for the guys that got the last piece of the last squeeze of the juice, whatever it is. But I that think, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, now the monthly is good, but we can go to 90 easily. And I'd rather buy it at 90 if I want to buy it. So where's the edge? What I see is tails. It's being right. sold at 130, at 120. So let's go to the. Um, I mean, the volume is there, which is nice. Let's do a volume analysis here then, because there was accumulation right here. We started seeing the big green bars, and right. we saw the big momentum. So the momentum was going with it up until here, right? Oh no! Even into the gap up right that day right. is the biggest momentum so we had the biggest gap up and we haven't been able to clear 135.26 surprise surprise that's the biggest momentum day right so basically we need to clear this one to be bullish for real and sure. uh we come back the pullback lower lower and then we try to break right but the volume is not that high and then we go back and they sell it and now we try to make now let's make a call here let's go to the 60 because we need to we need to we need to look at this one really close i'll say 110 is clear you're right right i agree I mean, I mean, you can you can trade 114, but then you gotta get into once they, they're probably gonna stop you like 10 times before it breaks, right? <laughs> you start shorting right here, and they just look at what they did. Yeah, it's it's normal. If you trade this thing, look, let, let's pretend you short it right here. Boom! Overnight, next day, gap up. You get stopped, close to the lows. Yeah. Here, here. Oh man. You short it. Oh my God! They stop you, close to the lows. Oh today. They today, stop you, today, they yeah. go to the lows. So, so it's nonsense un until, until you get the real move. And I think the real move is once everybody gets on the same page, and that will be probably 110. What's your alarm there? My alarm is 112. 112.25, 112.21, which is the low of this that week. week. You see? Okay. Yeah. So that's when I'm going to get involved. Like, okay, we're probably missing, we're losing the last five five days let's see let's let's go back to yeah we're losing this basically oh yeah 112 we're losing okay. this last this last attempt because basically this is the biggest green candle right this is bs gap up whatever bs trap the people right so but this is real boom we close at highs okay we break in so once we lose these guys forget it i say we go we go one that would be very aggressive, but I'll say 112, we start shorting, 110, we add, 100, take it to 87. Oh my God, I'm going to write it down. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's nice. So 112 will be aggressive. Losing 110, that will be momentum. We need the Momo, position ourselves, 190. And if you have traded this thing, you know that that, that can happen pretty fast. So it's just, you know, problem is that if they've been putting the, the, the move at the open, is this is BS, guys. This is this is BS. 
Yeah, don't take it overnight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's nonsense. Because this is this is what you see, guys. This is what you don't want to see. Death, and then you just drop it, and you're happy. Oh, my God, it's going to work. The next day, boom, up. Oh, man. Look what happened yesterday, right? Oh, we're going down. I'm so happy. It's back in the lows. That, all it takes is, like, there's no volume right here. Nobody's trading this thing. Right? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Do not take so, it overnight. Jeez. So I'll say 114, 112. Yeah. What was, what was that? The 112. 112 could be, could be really good. 113, 112. Right? Ideally, and I'm going a little bit over what we should be talking about, but ideally, what I want to see is like a break. Right, and then everybody decides that is it short, and then they bring it back, and then I probably short it at one twelve, one eleven, and then you take it all the way down. Right, I don't need to be the first guy to take the breakdown, you know, because I know there's a lot of levels to the left that if nobody knows, I mean, if, if people are looking for excuse, they're gonna be like, oh, one eleven, that's that's a low, let's buy it right there, let's cover, you know, and. um and this is usually a uh, day trader's uh, stock, a lot, right? So sure. we know how we trade, right? You have a dollar profit or you want to cover. So if we all think in the same, like a dollar profit, $2 profit, we're going to cover. If you, if you break 113, by the time it's 111, everybody's covering. So he's going to go back. Make sense? Right. So patience, but I think it can be done. I think it can be done. I like it. I like it. So Uber. that's that's beyond Uber. I was expecting this one to go higher. I like the pattern. I like it. My alarm is 38. Um, I think it's clear. It's a, it's a, it, 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 this is a reversal trade that we're doing. So Uber, there you go. That's 38. Uh, let's see if we can get. This is similar to what we did with ATVI. We got it right at the bottom. 27, 31, we've been writing it. Now the confirmation will be the 38. That's what I really want to see. And this okay. is what we're dealing with again. Uh, IPO price was 40. So if we break 38, we go 40. But again, we need the market. You know, the market's not doing anything. This was an amazing add-on, 3484, but we don't have it. But I still, I still like it. The red candle in here, you see it? low volume so i'm not that concerned about it i still like the green with the bigger volume and then another green with oh no the green was yeah okay this is this is green they painted green tails tails so today was not not a great day let's see if we can get an anticipatory entry you see my green light so that's like yeah. 38 i'll go 38 i'll go i probably don't need to risk too much on that one so 38 i'll wait no big deal let's put this put an alarm over 3760, so make sure that we don't miss it. So we all okay. on the same page, or, and we know that we, we're looking at 38 to, to break. The other one that we were looking today was Snap. Snap, I like it. Look at, the, look at the monthly, I still like it. We just make a beautiful pullback, and we just broke uh, 18 that day. I can't believe it. The day that I didn't look at, that was the day that it moved 80 cents. My God, <laughs> I hate that stock. <laughs> So, mm, I haven't seen this. I don't like that, 1976. So yeah, I'm only, I'm only trading over 20 right there, my green line, okay. 1980, 1983. You guys want to anticipate, go ahead, knock yourselves out, but I don't think- Up to 22 anything. or what are you looking at? Or just one point? I think it's big. I think it's big for this one. If we break, I mean, if we're talking 1980, uh, I mean, this is a good reference, the 21, but I'll say, I don't know, 24, 25. I don't know. Mm, this, okay. This is, I see it. This is, now we're, we're into the price discovery zone. Like this is, this all of these people accumulated everything. They People got shaken out in here of $4.00. So probably if they're buying around here and we can get buyers, it's for real. It's a turnaround, right? That's that's what basically what it's looking like. So actually, we should look at some out of the money calls on this one, just in case that we get into 
into the into the 20 areas actually snap right okay look for out of the money or or longer term uh, let's say 90 days plus if we go over the 20 area 1980 20 area yeah because this I'm, thing is probably one upgrade away from moving through that exactly 20. It's, it's, it's exactly, it's, it's one upgrade away from giving us 20% move, which is 24 right here. Yeah, why not? 20% move. You got the right options. That's good money. So keep an eye, keep, keep alarms, keep me posted. Don't let us, I'm talking about, I'm talking to everybody. Right. <laughs> Don't let us lose that trade. So that's a nap and Let's get an update on Amazon. We skipped that one last time. Because it's he hasn't done anything. I bet. Yeah, it's still in the range. Still in the range. Uh, when's the report? Is it tomorrow? Thursday, right? I think uh, it's tomorrow. Is it? Well, yeah, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. That's a bullish formation. Unless they blew the quarter, whatever it is, that should be over 2050. I don't know. What's 2050? That's like, wow, that's, that's, that's a big jump. 1900. We need 150 points. Less than 10%. Oh, it could happen. It could happen. We're still so in the wait range. for the earnings on this one. Yeah. Yeah, because I think the implied, what, what's the implied move? Let me see. Uh, Amazon. 57. 67, I got. Oh, really? 60 plus, plus or minus 67, yeah. So, wow. 1910, 1920. I think it, 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 may, may, it may surprise us. It might. It might happen. It might, it might go way above that. We, we've, been, we've been consolidating for a long time, basically. It hasn't done anything. Nothing. It's just... 1750 to 1910. So no upgrade. I mean, no. And uh, what else do we look at? Um, Boeing? Boeing reported today, right? Yeah. I like the 320. Look at the 320. Still holding. Yeah. Still good. Okay. 320 still good. Ideally, if we're gonna do momentum, I'll probably play with this candle right here. I wanna get, but remember, for in this case, I'm probably gonna, let me let me do something right here. Let me remove drawing, I should be, oh, all of those drawings, okay, anyways. I wanna get back into the area and try to play it from 325 to 350. So let's see how the daily looks. So I need 325 to 350. We're still there. I think we try to break it. Oh, that's my alarm right there. Yeah, 326.40, right? For a pop to 340. Okay. So BA over 325, 326 to 340, and that should be like a scalp. That should be in one day, I think. If it, if it moves, it should, it should give us a couple days. It should be there. And then we go 354. And uh, the hourly, yeah, that's the entry. I think it's pretty simple. Should be a if we want to be on the safe side, but then we, we we will be we will be giving away like three or four points. We can do we can be very aggressive over three twenty six forty, which is the prior day high, or an ad over three twenty eight. Anyways, okay. both of them. To the downside, I'll get, I'll get, I want to take a look at this. If we test, if we start near or testing 315, I want to see what happens on 315. News are out. They already, apparently they already said that they, they don't know when the max thing is going to get resolved. So like people are thinking, okay, finally, they admitted that they don't know. I think they got some financing, financing thing. So 315 will be really interesting, you know, to see if all these guys that bought around here, all the tails, those are buyers, the green ones, those are buyers. They may be into something. 
you may be into something. We have good volume too. Right. Okay. Two three days of good volume. So I think this one should 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 have bottom maybe, you know, but we will know. So place alarms at three seventeen, three sixteen, and start looking for the action at the bottom too. If you wanna you wanna you wanna short it, I mean. It's all good, but I'll be looking to probably for a bounce. Okay, so Boeing and the guys are asking anything, all right? Uh, cost. Co oh, Costco. Wow, we haven't done any retail. Costco. Beautiful chart. Beautiful chart. Beautiful weekly, beautiful monthly. Uh, yeah, this is a breakout. I think it's just the market that is not letting it. So let's see how's the daily. Uh, well, I have it at 300. So I think we got to move it to 314.30. Uh, there's my line. And then let's see how the 60 is looking. I like to have an alarm at 3, 308, 306 too, because look at this. I want to make sure we don't lose that that level from where we broke. Okay? Doesn't mean I'm shorting. I am just want to be alert because this is a bullish stock so far, right? Unless Got the market it. really gets really bad, then we probably look into short. But if we have like, a bad morning, some news from the market, whatever, and this one goes down to 308, 306. I'll probably be looking at that and see what can be done for an entry or something. So I think we're in a range. I think we're in a range, that one. But it's bullish, absolutely. So Costco over 3, 314, that'll be the long, right? 315, that'll be the long. And then we're gonna, we're gonna look at how we react to 303. What was it? What was the number? 306, 305, 306. 306, 308. 306, 308. We look at that for support, probably support. Yeah, right. Okay, Costco. What else is that? Uh, I have the RH. Yeah, we talk about RH. That's Buffett. LK. Uh, which one? LK, Luckin. Oh my God! They got downgraded right yesterday. So look at the look at the monthly chart right there, tail. Look at the weekly chart. So the thing with this is, I like to see like I like to trade stuff that when I see like a move like this, like a green one, we have continuation, and then we have a small pullback, and then we have continuation, right? So we right. trade it here. I think we trade it here. Yeah, that was that was my first trade ever in LK. So when I start seeing this type of pattern, right? Like this is a doji, and then the next day we got pop, basically trap the people, drop it, right? <laughs> then the next day, drop it, gap it down, close up. The next day, gap down, Jeez. drop it. The next day, so I'm like, okay, whatever. What what is it they want to do? If you force me. To, that I have to take a trade on LK, I'll say I play it over 40 right here. Okay. Right? Like tomorrow, if for some reason we go over 40, I'll probably take it. That'll, that'll be my trade. So let me do it. Okay. Got it. Just because we have been coming down hard and then we have this red bar and I'm thinking we if if we negate, if we negate this one, we can probably run to 43, 44 easily, right? right? Which is like 10%. So the, the, yeah, 43, 44. So, but I'll be sort of a trap that we put in onto, into LK. It's kind of difficult, but I know it can, it can work over 40 to 43. If we get the momentum, we get, cause we know how it works, right? This one with decides to move, it moves and it just goes. So yeah. It's an aggressive one. It's a very aggressive one. You just you just close your eyes, place your trade, <laughs> and and whatever. To the short side, 
I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to trade that thing thinking that I got 37 right here. I got 36, 30. So getting into LK for 30 cents, 50 cents, 35, 40 here. Oh, it's yeah, just, 200. Okay. Especially when we see here, guys, gap up, drop all day. Gap down, gap all day. Gap up, drop all day. Right? Yeah. So it's just so unreliable. I mean, like, what do you do? Gap up, drop all day. So it's like you go the opposite of whatever they do at the open, basically. Oh, it's gapping up, short it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's working. It's working most of the time. Yeah. Gap down, long. This one, no, but today works. So, nah. So, yeah. Don't don't copy my, my ideas in that case. Was, <laughs> I don't want to get you into trouble. So that's LK. And uh, I think we are about to be done. Trade I'm desk. looking at T Trade Desk. I like it. I like the pattern. I like the weekly. And this is why I brought it to your attention today. Because, okay, we're far from where I would love to buy, which is like around the 210 or whatever. So we're now at the top of the range, right? So we got 293, but the formation right here on a, on a daily look, it was looking like interesting actually, but I need 293, I need confirmation. I was thinking of making the, the trade for the break of this one right here. Right, the, the little trend there. But with this market, I don't want to anticipate. The problem is that I, we, we've been in this crazy bullish market that we were, we, we, we were allowed to be a little bit more aggressive before, like when we were buying, you know, these bouncing things and everything. We haven't found a bouncing thing in a, in a while, right? So I'll probably wait for confirmation. I want to... Over 293? Yeah, over 293. I'm going to put one right there. 293 is right there. And let me, let me go back. Why? Because uh, I think we have plenty of space. Yeah, there'll be new highs. Okay. I'll be new high. So yeah, if it goes, when's I don't know when's um when it reports. Banks, I don't even see it, but I have an alarm. I heard an alarm today in Goldman Sachs. So something was going on with Goldman Sachs. Um, pretty fast right here. So we were going out of the zone, and now we back. Oh, so gotcha. what I think is we can go probably two thirty if we start going down or over two fifty. So we got a solid red bar right there, and that will be my that will be my gauge basically to to know what to do. Over yesterday's this yesterday's action. Yeah, today's action okay. actually. Yeah. Or so rather, we go yeah. two forty seven, trade it to two fifty, and see because if it goes, it's fine, right? So Goldman Sachs over two forty seven five, and over two fifty fifty momentum, right? Same to the other side. I'll be, let me see, yeah. I don't know how aggressive we want to be with that one, 240. It's just these charts, my God. I think we have room. Let me, let me double check again. The day, the, the monthly looks good. The weekly needs to close green. If we close yes. green, we got two more days to go. If we can close anywhere in the 246, it's going to look great for next week. Yeah. Agreed. Right? Imagine this one, a green, a green bar out of this range. So that's what I'll be willing to bet, right? It's just when do we enter? That's the question. 242, 244, or we wait for 246? 242, 244, or we wait for 246. It could be fun. Actually, it could be fun if we can get, we can get some. Yeah, actually, this could be this could be in play tomorrow. 242, 243, 242, 244, 246, and we see if we hold it. Because if we can reverse that red bar, I like it. I like it. Basically, I'm looking to reverse this red bar. Right. Mm -hmm. So 244, 244, 242, 244, and see what's up. 
Goldman Sachs has nothing to do. I don't usually trade banks, but they say Goldman Sachs is not a bank, so I'm allowed to. <laughs> it's a money center. I don't know what I don't know what they are. Yeah, right. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Back All right, America. Uh, yeah. Well, I was just gonna sorry to cut you off. We're we're out of time here. There was one question for Microsoft in the chat. Do you want to take a quick look at that and then we can wrap it up? Sure. 175, so all-time highs. I like all-time highs, especially when they report good earnings. So momentum will favor the long side. And the chart is now looking way better because when we were talking after the market closed, we were here at 172, 173. So apparently the 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 um, the conference call went well and what we were expecting was five dollars fifty three meaning from here 168 that's 173 so this is where uh the implied volatility right this is where the market right. makers thought it was gonna go so it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really good because now they're losing money well they charge too little for the move that's what it means, right? So my take in in uh, Microsoft is that now Microsoft goes into my watch list tomorrow. That's going to be one of, one of my go-to stocks for tomorrow. Uh, I'll be careful with the whatever the pre-market high is, and I'll be careful with the 173 level that uh, was priced into the into the options. Probably they just sell it off in, in the first one minute or two minutes, right? So the moment we find a bottom, I'll probably be a buyer. That could be a, play, a way to play. I don't think it's going to run from the get-go, but who knows, right? It all depends right. on how, how the market is. But if we go 173, I'll start looking at that. So I have alarms at 173, 176 for now. So, yep, okay. good, 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 good. 173.45, 176. I like it. Yeah, it, it looks it looks much better. It, that that's the way that's the way I like it to be. Cause, cause uh, what yeah, what was the other what was the other yeah the other the other horrible is this one. That one's gotta oh, be oh yeah ugly. So yeah, pay PayPal is not. Uh, Microsoft yes, yeah Microsoft Facebook, that's what it is. Okay guys. So to recap for tomorrow, Apple Roku. Baba, Tesla, Disney, LK, Microsoft. That's what I'm showing. Mm, I'll For probably tomorrow. think in Apple. Definitely looking at Apple. Uh, I don't trade AMD. I don't like it, but I'll be watching it. Just if it gives me like a perfect setup, I'll take it. But okay. I'll be looking at Apple, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs. I like the idea of Goldman. Okay. And um, PayPal, I don't want to deal with that. Tesla, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I'll post my two or three best. Uh, Facebook, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to mess with that one. Eleven percent okay. down. No, probably tomorrow. Roku, yeah, you're right. Probably Roku. Roku. Yeah. 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 Roku has been doing awful volume, so. Yeah. Very true. Know, we want to make sure that we trade on a day that is that is directional, that is moving, that is clear. Otherwise, the spreads are horrible. Try to get in out is just a mess, you know. Especially right. if you have size, it's just gonna kill you. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Right. Hey, it was a little yeah, longer, thanks, but, but but this is the busiest busiest week of this of this of the season, basically. Very true with all the earnings and FOMC. So exactly. So good luck tomorrow, guys. All right, we'll see you in the Thanks morning. Bye. Okay, bye.